What's going on everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here. It's time to review another movie. Today I'm going to be reviewing a movie which stars Amelia Clark and Sam Claflin. This is a book to movie adaptation and it is a drama and romance. Here is my non-spoiler review for Me Before You. Now I have not read the book so I can't tell you whether or not the movie is close to its original source material but starting off with the pros for the film Amelia Clark and Sam Claflin are just perfect in the film. The chemistry between them is just perfect. The love between the characters feels so real. It doesn't feel like it's just an act, and that's because they're just good actors. They they really are. Amelia Clark, of course, from Game of Thrones, Sam Claflin just got off of Hunger Games, and they're really, I mean, they shine in this movie. They own the movie. I love the cinematography in here. It's a very well, beautifully shot film. The storyline, of course, with Amelia Clark uh, actually getting a job as a nanny to help Will, Sam Claflin, he is a disabled person in a wheelchair, and it's just that story, the, you know, the story there of bonding over time, love, and then so many more things during this film. But it, it's just, it's a romantic film, and it's a, it's a very emotional film where it's been a long time since I've seen a film where it just pulls at your heartstrings, and almost like very long. I can't remember the last time when I was in the theater and I I was just choking. Not choking like, but choking as in like, you, you can't swallow because it's just, the, the, the acting is just so, so well done. And the way they embody these characters, like Amelia Clark is not just Amelia Clark, like she embodies this character and she's so different from any other role I've ever seen her in. And Sam Claflin, man, uh, and, uh, he's a handsome guy. He really, really just, he's devilish, man. He's a very devilish guy and just the good looks and he really, he, he's got a lot for him in the future, man. Both of these, you know, are going to make it so much more than just Game of Thrones and Hunger Games. They got a whole future ahead of them just in film because they, they proved it in this film that they can act, they can make you cry, they can make you laugh. I mean, it's just, just a perfect blend of so many different emotions. The only con about this film, I have to say, is there are a few slow scenes. There are a few pacing problems where it even makes the film feel a little bit longer, almost like a 20-30 minute add-on where some scenes maybe could be cut shorter or just cut out of the film. Just very little. But overall, I thought it was a really good, even great romantic film and drama. I cared for the characters, I laughed with the characters, I cried, you know, for the characters. It just made me care so much more, and it's been a long time since I've ever felt that in a theater uh, for a dr drama comedy. Uh, not drama comedy, a, a drama romance. They are really great acting, great writing, great story. I mean, everything about it was just really awesome. Think about the romance movies this year. The choice, it was mediocre. I did enjoy a few parts of it, but it is a Nicola, like Nicholas Sparks movie, so you know that kind of proves how predictable that sort of thing was. But the good thing about this film is it's not predictable. Like it's very like at least for people who've seen the books, maybe read the books, it's probably predictable there. But those who haven't read the books, man, it's not really that predictable on where it's going to go. And there are a few twists and shocks that really get me and that got the audience really, really well. So I'm going to end up giving Me Before You an 8.1 out of a 10. I thought it was a really good romantic film, man. I really enjoyed myself. And I would recommend you guys to take your girlfriend out, take your boyfriend out, date night, go see it in the theaters. It's definitely a movie I am going to buy on DVD one day to add my, to my collection. If you guys enjoyed this review, you guys can hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. I hope you guys did enjoy. And don't forget, more movie reviews come every week. Don't forget, Popstar Never Stop Never Stopping should be up on my channel right now. Uh, next week, I mean The Conjuring 2, Warcraft, uh, Finding Dory. I mean, just a bunch, bunch more new movie reviews. Thanks again. Love you all. Bye-bye.